Y'all, it is a new day. Check that out. Pretty cool houseboat. Le Colby Jean. Pretty cool. But it's at the wharf. Just launched at the ICW. Going to be heading out in the Gulf. Trying to go after some Barracuda and whatever else wants to buy. But I had a lot of fun with that lure right there, that Barracuda tube. And we're going to go see if we can get on them again. So y'all, to keep these intros short, sweet, to the point, this is Steve Winbama Saltwater. Happy you can join me. I'll see you out there at our fishing spot. Alrighty, y'all, we've made it to our spot. So I'm going to be throwing a CUDA tube. Let me show you what this is. It's a big piece of surgical tubing, just like this. See it? A couple weights in there, a couple hooks, a lot of wire leader. I've tied an additional wire leader on top of that. This one's made by Sea Striker. You can make them yourself as well. It's just easier for me to buy them. We're gonna try to catch this a big old barracuda. I think it's gonna be pretty fun. Did this last time I was out here and I said I was gonna come back out here and do it again. I am throwing this on a 6,000 size spinning reel with 30 pound braid. And this is a dark matter IO spinning rod. This is a seven foot three inch model. It is linked down below if you wanna go check them out at jnh.com. They are the sponsor of this video. So let's go ahead and get this lure out there. See if we can hook something pretty fun. Throw this cuter tube. Oh, one's about to chase it. He's about to eat it, come on. He's fired up on it. Y'all see that? See if we can do that again. Y'all, there are tons of them. Oh, oh darn, I yanked it away from him. <laughs> he tried. Oh man, let's try that again. Dang it. Oh, got it. He's got it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, I wish I could get a jump out of him. Heck yeah, dude. Wish I could get a jump. Man, that was epic. He didn't quite show off like that other one did the other video, but this was cool. <sighs> Come on. Mmm. Barracuda. That's what I wanted out here. Wanted to come out, try to get one. They're so ferocious when they hit. Man, I'd love for him to jump, but he's just staying kind of down. Ah. Dude, these things, they're like oversized king mackerel. <laughs> right below the boat. There he is. Whoa. Check that out. Feisty things. Such a cool, cool experience right there. I'm gonna keep this one. If we can get them close, put a gaff on them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, so how epic is this? Wow, they got some armor. How to get it in his gill. Wow, look at that, that was cool. <laughs> I wanna step away from him. How epic was that? I got that tube lure out. Oh, Y'all, look at that Cuda. Probably a 25, 26 pounder. Super fun, didn't get any jumps out of them. They do have some armor plating on them. Very, very, very different than gaffing a king. So I had to get up in his gill. But this is a great barracuda. See if I can show you his teeth, be real careful. Can y'all see those? That dude is a predator. Comes through, bites things in half, come back and eats the rest. Look at that. Never cooked one before, never eaten one. I know down in the Caribbean, they can be full of cigarette toxin. A lot of y'all were saying on a few videos ago that they are edible up here. There are not as, not as many cases. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Y'all, we're gonna throw this in our cooler and just try to go get another one, see if one will jump. 
How awesome is that? Very, very stinky fish. Oh, there's his mouth. See that? Insane teeth. I mean, insane. All right, y'all, that was cool. We got our goal accomplished. This is a bird of prey circle hook jig in the one ounce with some 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Pretty sweet little setup. They're linked down below if you want to pick up some. But I'm running about four feet a liter, coming to a 5,000 size spinning reel, 30 pound braid, and this is the dark matter IO rod in the seven foot three inch model. So let's go ahead and put us a piece of squid on there and we'll drop it down, maybe do some chumming and see what we catch y'all. Oh, that didn't take very long. Mm. I mean, that didn't take long at all. Ah. That's a good fish. <laughs> Y'all, really nice fish. Mm. Just gonna use the power of this rod to bring it up. Ah. Mm. Let's hope it's a big red snapper. I can still keep them. They are still in season for Alabama. Mm. Dang. I hope it is. We'll find out together what this is gonna be, y'all. Oh yeah. Big old nice red snapper. That's a good one there. Wow. That's a nice fish. Check out that bird of prey jig right in the corner of its mouth. That's a circle hook jig on the dark matter rod. Just landed us some dinner, y'all. That was fast and awesome. Look at the size of that fish. What a beautiful American red snapper. Alabama has some of the best red snapper fishing reefs and programs of all the states, it seems like. They do real good about that, which is amazing. So there we go. I think they're cool fish. Really pretty. He's in season. He's going in the cooler. I guess what, this time we're gonna take the squid tentacle. I hook it just like that in between the eyes on that circle hook jig. Here we go again, see if we can get our limited snapper. Since there's a little bit of current, I kind of toss it up. I'm gonna let it fall down. Only about 20 feet, because I've been chumming, bringing them up. Oh, instantly, already got another bite. I mean, it's on the way down. Shows you what some chum does. There's another red. I think I'm gonna let him go and try to get a little bit larger one. It's a nice red snapper. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the butt like it sometimes does. But since I can only keep two and I ran out this far, I want two big ones. There you go, man. See, and he's gone. He didn't come from deep at all. Here we go. Oh, yep. Mm. If this is a keeper, he'll probably end up just going in the box. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a keeper. It's a nice one. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's our limit right there of American Red Snapper, y'all. But y'all, that's my Alabama limit of American Red Snapper. So I'll probably end up fishing some more just to see what else is down there, like some mangroves, bee liners, etc. But that is cool. It didn't take very long at all. I'm gonna spike him and throw him in the cooler. Heck yeah. All right. Got a fish on the squid. Let's see what it is. Get up here. Oh, the cooters are chasing after it. Big old hardtail, huge hardtail. <laughs> that's a big barracuda too. All right, that's a giant hardtail. At least we can let him go. Just hook something, reeling up my bait. Is that an Almaco or an AJ? Almaco Jack. I can eat him. Boom. It's a good eating fish right there. 
on another squid piece. Another fish. <clears throat> I wonder what this is. Pulling pretty hard. Big old trigger fish. Darn. Can't keep them. That'd be a good eating fish if I could keep it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he's not in season right now at the time I'm making this video. That is a nice trigger though. So I gotta let him go. <laughs> Old vertebrae circle hook jig putting in some work. Are you gonna be able to swim off? He might need venting. So there's a vent tool letting out the air so he can actually swim back down. That's a pretty one right there. There you go. I'll come back and catch you. Mm. All right. So I dropped some squid down just on a little bottom rig again. And we're going to see what we have. I wonder if it can, we can add it to our cooler. I think so. It's a big bee liner. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Really nice vermilion snapper right there. I'm gonna drop the squid back down. Keep on fishing here. Oh. Another one on the squid. <laughs> oh, I love this rod. It's like the perfect balance between a jigging rod and a conventional bottom rod. I like it. <clears throat> it has a lot of give which I like with braid, so you don't pull hooks. I'm gonna pull this fish up. Could be a trigger fish, the way it's fighting. No, it's another nice bee liner. Yes, it got bigger. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, and my weight's gone. But yeah, buddy, bee liner got bigger. That's what I'm talking about. Good eats right there. Oh, it's about to get eaten. You already bit it in half once. You gonna come back for it again? It just came back for it. Mm. Yep, we're hooked up. Get a jump, get a jump. Are you gonna jump? Woo! <laughs> Yo, that is so sweet right there. How cool. I've been wanting to come out here and do this. And this is just neat. Jumps like a tarpon. Uh, let's see if we can get it in. It definitely took off. I'll tell you that. It took off good. I just had a hardtail on there that they had bit off. So I put it back out, hoping one would come back for it, and it did. All right. Y'all, I'm pretty tired. This is cool. Oh, he's coming up. He might jump again. Nope. That's a big one. Wow. Look at him. How cool is that? There's another one with it. It's like a wolf pack. Woo! Big cuda. See, I don't want to kill this one. I'm gonna to try to figure out what I want to do here. I was thinking maybe he'd bite through that leader first, but he didn't. Wow, look at that sucker. It's a big one. Okay, here we go. If the line breaks or hook pops out, which it looks like the hook might pop out. Okay, got him in. Y'all, definitely not something I suggest trying on your own here. But I did want to get the hook out of them. Let this one go. That's a stud. That's a stud barracuda. Man, they're so stinky. See his teeth again? Showing you that. I'm gonna let this one go. Brought it in without much harm. But check that sucker out. Here we go. Woo! Yo, and he jetted off. 
you're still good so that was pretty cool y'all i'm gonna call it a day on that one i got some fish to clean <sighs> got a long trip back i'll probably see it back at the house cleaned up probably with some water because it is hot but how cool is that we'll see you in a bit it's pretty hiking real pretty but we just got back to the island go a little bit to the boat ramp it's pretty busy so put the camera down and focus on what i'm doing y'all i just got back home <laughs> luckily i still have some daylight left that's pretty nice pretty busy on the roads and the waterways but hey everybody's out enjoying a great time it's awesome to see i hope y'all had a great time watching this video if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it just want to keep up with the channel y'all go hit the subscribe button down below it's tenuously growing it's so amazing to be able to share these experiences with each and every one of y'all don't forget to go check out the partners of the channel down linked below a lot of these companies were generous enough to provide some promo codes for y'all so you can save you some money in case you need to stock up on something i gotta finish spraying the boat down and i actually donated those fish to my neighbor which is awesome so they got some fresh fish we all appreciate you watching we'll see you on the next man with saltwater fishing video as always i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later